How's everybody doing today? My name is Kodith. Today we're taking a trip to the world of the Binding of Isaac, so buckle up and enjoy the ride. But uh, today, thought I would do a whole bunch of explaining and stuff because it's been six weeks, probably since I uploaded my last video to YouTube, and there's a bunch of reasons for that. Primary reason being school-related stuff, because, you know, good old school, getting an education, getting in the way of everything. But really, that's what happened. I ended up having a lot of school-related stuff, like an SAT and uh, midterms and everything, and I sort of got overwhelmed. Couldn't really record anything, and I didn't feel like just uploading footage that I had already recorded, because I really feel like that's kind of slacking. I like to make stuff fresh and new. When I want to upload, I don't want to just go into like an old bin of recorded stuff and put that up. I don't really like it. That's why some of the series that I have kind of died off a little bit. And I might not even upload my old footage that I already have recorded for like Dark Souls and stuff. I mean, some people really want that. I might upload it, but in all honesty, I really don't like uploading stuff that's really outdated to the channel. It just doesn't feel good to me. I feel like I'm kind of jipping you guys of some good entertainment. If there's, if there's funny stuff in there, I'll certainly upload that. But I don't want to just upload random old things that I don't even really remember recording because it just doesn't feel right to me. But aside from that, I uh, I got some new stuff, new equipment. So that's one other announcement I wanted to make. I have better gear for recording. I currently just upgraded my graphics card. Now it's a GTX 770. It was an AMD Radeon 7850, so it's quite the upgrade. I put $400 down, basically got the card. It's the 2 gigabyte variant, and it's made by, I think, Gigabit, or Gigabyte, whatever the company's name is. And it's pretty good. I had some problems when I first set it up. I accidentally, like, had a wire kind of cut off, and it was reducing the performance, like, a lot. What I mean by cut off, it was kind of pinned underneath the, uh, the graphics card in a way that it was not actually allowing the graphics card to perform an optimal performance, because it was preventing all the power from going to the graphics card. So the graphics card wasn't getting the amount of power it really needed to work, so it wasn't performing as it should be. And as a result, I was getting lower than optimal frames and stuff, and that's why that's another reason I kind of took off. I mean, I got the graphics card a few days ago, and I was fiddling around with it, and finally I realized when I took the computer apart again that I had a problem with my setup. So I fixed it, now it works much better. And in fact, I might be able to record Battlefield 4 and stuff soon, and other games like that. I definitely want to record Titanfall. I, I participated in the beta for a long time, and I had a lot of fun in it. I mean, that game looks like it's going to be great. I heard it's multiplayer only, which might be a little bit questionable, but for the most part, it looks like it's going to be very enjoyable. And from the way it played, it might be better than Call of Duty, especially for PC. It didn't feel like it was a port of a console version or anything. It felt much better than like Black Ops 2, for say, on PC. Because that game I enjoyed a little bit, but then I realized how bad the port was. I mean, it certainly can't be as bad as the Ghost port to PC, but still wasn't optimal. But nevertheless, I'm going to be playing Titanfall. Probably going to be playing Battlefield 4 still. I mean, that game, it has its flaws, but for the most part, I have a good amount of fun in it. I'll probably do highlights rather than full-length videos for that, because full-length videos would be a little bit hard to do, I would say, and probably boring for you guys, to be completely honest, because who wants to watch, like, a 60-minute Conquest game where I'm not gonna see a person for, like, maybe 15-minute segments as I try and cross the map or something like that? That's the second time I've seen a dime today in this game. That's amazing. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna also upload a lot more indie games, because that's really what I think I specialize in now. I... I mean, you know what, I'm going to do this. But I do specialize more in indie games now, it seems. Oh, God, this is a risk. You know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. No, I'm really at a freaking bad position, but I don't care. Um, if I die, I die. But I'm going to be specializing in indie games, like I keep trying to say, because I really have been playing a lot of them, like Risk of Rain, this game, Spelunky. I, I like those sort of games more than first-person shooters, but I will put up first-person shooters when I when I feel like it on the channel. Because basically what I want to do is I want to make this, I put up stuff uh, that I, I'm really enjoying. Because I don't want to just put up stuff because maybe it's popular on YouTube. I mean, I'm not one of those YouTubers that's looking for money. I don't get paid at all from people watching this. You see an advertisement, it's probably going to like... YouTube directly, because I don't really, I don't even monetize my videos, so if you somehow see an advertisement, blame YouTube, not me, because I'm not putting any monetization features on my channel at all. Oh, look at that, that's some recovery for my health, that's actually really good. 
use some other stuff though. But uh, also, along with my whole getting new parts and stuff, it's gonna open up a wide variety of games that I can now record because I can start recording stuff that's a little bit more intense. So I would like some suggestions on games you want to see that are, might be a little bit harder to run. I was thinking about DayZ maybe. I mean, I've been playing a whole bunch of that, the standalone version and the mod. Standalone's a lot of fun. Mod is pretty good. Mod is probably better in a lot of ways, but the just whole aspect of choosing your character's loadouts and stuff. Or not loadouts, I meant to say like clothes. Okay, I'm gonna use this right now. I'm gonna die. But using like the clothes and stuff is, uh, I like that. It's, it's really cool. The mod doesn't have that, which is one reason that the mod is a little bit inferior in some ways. But overall, it's, uh, it's really enjoyable. I would definitely recommend getting it. I mean, it's 30 bucks right now on Steam, so it is quite the hefty price for a game that's not even complete. I mean, it's early access, so if you like that kind of game, then uh, I would buy it. If not, then maybe check out some gameplay first before you decide to drop the 30 bucks on it, because you might not even like it, because the gameplay is very specific. It, uh, you have to enjoy that kind of game. If I die once with this, I'm going to probably just immediately stop this run and start a new one. Because this one's not going that well, in all honesty. And uh, I guess I'll take it. I just don't want to run into like a room that I don't want to get killed in or something. What's in here? I don't, I don't trust that chest to have something I might actually need. I just realized I could have taken that and then escaped the room. Whatever. <laughs> um, I'll probably go back and take it. Hopefully it'll have something I need. And then I can just flee the room because I have the, uh, the emergency exit, basically. With the secret room being there. And if my voice sounds a little bit different, I am using my headset mic. But also, I'm kind of, like, a little bit stuffy in the nose region. The nose is kind of clogged up a bit. It's like a jungle. So... That's, uh, that's the, basically the reason why I might be sounding a little bit different. So, yeah. I don't know if I mentioned this, but my birthday, I think I, think I did, pretty sure I did. It was uh, a couple weeks ago, so I got a good bit of money, and I'm actually getting more money soon. So I'll definitely be able to buy a lot of games if you suggest them. If you like stuff that you want to see on the channel, probably indie games. That's what I really like to do. I, I can't even get another reroll. I don't think I'll just take it. Whatever. I'm gonna die. Oh, that was a terrible bomb placement. Oh, that was a terrible bomb placement also. That's a good one. Wasted two bombs right there. I missed a Spelunky, not this. Get him, come on. What the freaking? Oh my god, how am I dodging all these shots? I'm not even looking at the screen I'm supposed to be looking at. I have two monitors now, so. It's very, very useful to have two, but uh, it's problematic. By the way, I hope you guys enjoy this little overlay I made. I made it pretty quick, but I thought it was uh, pretty cool. Added a little bit of originality to the channel. So nice. I'm probably going to die here. Uh, let's see. Can I do this? Oh my lord! Good thing those flies don't damage me. Oh my, the strafing is too strong. Oh, and then I messed up. God dang it. What does the devil deal have to offer? It's probably going to be Krampus and I'm going to die. Oh, look, Guppy. Now I am Guppy, but I'm going to die. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. That's rough. I'm Guppy, but I'm going to die immediately. Oh, the Joker card. How funny. Um, I'm going to bomb you, maybe, please. Yes. Whew. Health situation is still looking bad, but at least I'm guppy. This could help a lot. Especially with clearing out bosses, because I have, like, very little damage. I think the, I only picked up one damage upgrade, and that's it. What's in the secret, secret room? The super secret room. Well, the amazing room of secretness. Oh, goat up. That actually is better than my little thing, I think. More speed. Helps me with my strafes. Since I have health now, I'm gonna check that cursed room. Because who knows, maybe there'll be brimstone or something in there. More, more than likely, it'll just be a box or a chest with flies or something. 
Okay, that's not bad. I'll pick it up and put it down. I wish I had a reroll. But there is no rerolls for me at this point. Because I took that chest from the room. Oh, this is annoying. I made a mistake on myself. I screwed myself up. Because there's nothing I could even take in here to activate the room. So. It's, it's basically cleared. Whatever. Time to go to the next floor. I think I mentioned this before, but I got distracted. I hope you guys like the overlay that I made. It was, uh, I made it in Photoshop within probably 15 minutes of starting recording. I was like, you know what? I don't want to just have a gigantic enlarged Isaac screen. I want to make it so Isaac is normal size, but then I put other stuff to make it a little bit more interesting. So hopefully you guys like it. I, uh, I enjoyed making it. Oh my, every single guppy piece right here, look at this. I'm gonna activate it, just because I'm gonna get, ooh, that's, that's really good actually. Now I have permanent gigantic cat mode from the, uh, the Horror Babylon activated permanently now. So now I'm actually at a good damage phase right now. Pretty good damage going. And now I just picked up the miter, so I'm gonna get a lot more soul heart. So I might not even take health upgrades soon. I might just leave them behind favor of getting permanent Polaroid invincibility once I get later on in the game. I'm getting the, uh, the Polaroid actually in my possession. If I get it early, I'll certainly take it. Because Polaroid is always good. Especially when you have no red hearts. Because what the Polaroid does is it triggers invincibility every time you get knocked down to, let's say, one half a red heart. But if you don't have a red heart at all, then you immediately get the benefits of having the Polaroid no matter what hits you, like, if you just, since I have only soul hearts, I'm always going to get the effect procking on my character, which is nice. It gives me a good reason not to pick up health upgrades. And there's the miter giving me more, more soul hearts. The only problem is I can't replenish my health, so I have to be very careful with my dodges and stuff. But being guppy, I probably will not have to worry about the stuff I did. Ooh. Now that's a health upgrade. I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna warp to the Joker after I finish this room out. I'm gonna warp to the Devil using the Joker card, and maybe I'll get a Devil deal that's worth one. Take it, and then hopefully I'll clear out all my health, basically, because I don't want to have any red hearts right now, because that'll keep the Horror Babylon effect going, give me extra damage. It'd be very nice, so let's see. Okay, it's Krampus. Uh, whatever, I'll take the Krampus damage. After I kill him. You scum lord. He's gonna drop the coal, so I'm gonna get extra damage basically with that. And I am taking all the easy shots. Probably should be dodging better. He needs yep, there we go. He's dead. Ooh, do I reroll this or not? I'm gonna I'm gonna actually re-roll it. And that was a bad choice, whatever. Sometimes you could re-roll that until it's like, say, mom's knife or something, so that's the exact reason I re-rolled it. Hopefully, when I kill the boss, I'll be able to get access to that again. So I'm going to save up a reroll for the boss room. Because that'd be very nice if I could, uh, get myself, like, brimstone or a knife or something out of that. Instead of just getting coal. Because coal is good, but I'd rather have, like, a knife. Especially since I have a tier, like, a tier fire rate. Not tier fire, uh, tier shot speed increase already. So I'm not, I'm automatically losing out a little bit on my ability to uh, get maximum damage with that coal, so I'd rather just go for a, like, brimstone knife sort of build. Maybe laser. Tech, tech 1 is my favorite item in the game at this point. Just because of all the synergies it has, makes it a fantastic item. Because it basically is brimstone, but fires faster. So that's, that's the entire reason I like it so much. And I'm just playing for some health right here at this fortune teller machine. There's a Polaroid. I'm going to keep this. That'll help out a lot. If I can get rid of my health. I can get rid of one red heart here. Now I have the permanent Polaroid invincibility, pretty much, until I can get rid of this heart. So I'm not going to pick up any red hearts that I see. I'm just going to keep myself at this health until I can get rid of that red heart, because I don't want it. bad for my my build right now. Ooh. Now I'm gonna take the Curve Torn actually because Curve Torn is better. 
for me. It's extra damage even if I don't have the Horror Babylon activated, so. So I'm taking this. It's a little bit better to me. Because I'm going to get a Polaroid anyway after I beat out Mom. If I get that far, which I should with this build. It's, it's now looking pretty strong. There's a flat penny. I don't really need that. Flat penny just gives you extra keys when you uh, pick up money, which is it's pretty good. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get another reroll, so I'm, instead of trying to reroll my item, I'm just gonna go and kill off the boss. And uh, after killing off the boss, I should be able to get back into that devil deal, hopefully, and then I could reroll that item again. These boss fights should go relatively quickly now that I have all this damage from the curved horn. Got Yep, there we go. Oh, I don't want to pick that health upgrade up. That's what I was looking for. Packed, that's good. I don't really want to pick this up, but I'm going to pick it up just because I can get two more uh, tries at the blood machine. And I'm not really trying for a blood bag at this point. I'm trying more for, let's say, uh, some money, basically, I guess. Um, but besides that, I just if I have the two red hearts... If I see a devil deal, it's likely going to be a two-heart deal for a brimstone or something like that. So I'm going to just hold on to my uh, two red hearts that I have until I see one of those deals, probably. And uh, drop them off there. But I'll leave them empty until I get a deal like that. I'm going to take a drink right now for my apple, my V8 V Fusion apple juice box. 17 years old and I still drink juice boxes. Haters are gonna hate. Ah, good. Now I'm ready. Nickel. I need to get more orbitals. I don't even have one yet. That's not good, actually, at all. I was hoping to have at least one orbital by now, but I have zero. So that's not good. Especially when it comes to the final boss, it's going to be pretty bad. I don't have any extra orbitals. Hopefully I find a pretty fly pill or something like that, and then... Okay, look at that. That's really good, actually. That's... That's nice. Gives me a lot more confidence that I'm going to win when I get that. I get that good old big eye brimstone polyphemus build going. So I'm probably going to find Polyphemus at some point. I mean, not Polyphemus, Brimstone. What am I saying? I just picked up freaking Polyphemus. I'm a stupid person. Oh my god. Don't listen to what I say. I'm an idiot. Let's see if I can get something good out of this. Eh, uh, nah. What I want to do now is I want to get a purse. That's the wrong kind of purse, though. So if I get the uh, regular purse, I can have two trinkets, which means I can have the, the horn. Okay, I'll take the belt. I could have my curved horn, and then I could also have something like the, uh, the Polaroid at the same time. That'd be amazing because then I could have invincibility every every time I get hit with my current setup. And then also on top of that, I can be giving out extra damage. Blue Baby Soul is not that good. And then over there is the missing page, eh, not a fan. I'm gonna go back this way, actually. I wanna clear out one more room before I go and fight the boss. It's kind of a weird secret room placement, actually. In between the two spots. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but besides getting new computer parts, I got new, uh, like, gaming stuff. Like, I got a Razer keyboard and a Razer mouse. So it might be loud and clickety clackety every so often if I record at the snowball. So you gotta bear in mind with that. I mean, it's a mechanical keyboard, so that's what what's I ex I expected that actually when I purchased it. But whatever, I like it. It it feels amazing when I'm typing up an essay and stuff, <laughs> just because of how clicky it is. It's like click 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 click, and it's amazing. Okay, let's see. Can I go into the boss fight? Uh, yes, I will. Let's go. Ooh, he's not even hard at all. Monstro, too. Not that hard at all. Just get him looped in this cycle and kill him instantly. Oh, yeah. Let's see how much range I have. Okay, I'm not taking that. Are you kidding me, game? Whatever, I'm kind of forced to take this. Please be good. I'm kind of looking for a health down pill, actually. Range up. Good. That's what I wanted. 
If I can get one more of those, I'll be good. But I don't think they can get another health down pill. I don't know if I can get health down to zero. I'll buy it anyway. Let's see, this is a health down right here. Oh, now it's health up. God dang it. Bad trip, that didn't help much. Range up. I'm gonna take this health up pill with me just in case I find a double deal. But it's highly unlikely I'll get one from now on because I'm the next floor I'm gonna have to fight mom. And fighting mom. After that I'm locked in the room. So I can't leave except to go to the next floor. Which I'll promptly do. And then after that, I'm gonna have to go and fight Isaac. And well actually no, I'm gonna fight mom's heart, so actually I still have a chance. Never mind. That's what I was wanting the entire time. There we go, that's good. My my tears are so damaging. Especially with the flies, because flies do, I think, like, double damage every time they touch something. So, the fact that I have Polyphemus, and then I now have uh, poor Babylon and stuff activating at the same time, kind of makes the run a little bit OP already, even though I don't have Brimstone or the knife. Just raw damage or something like that is too strong. Because of Guppy. Without Guppy, this run would be a lot harder. But I knew it was going to be worth taking the dead cat because I saw that I had already taken one piece of Guppy and there's that lion right in the same room. So it's worth taking, in my opinion. If you already have two pieces of Guppy and you're feeling pretty solid about your ability to take out the rest of this stuff, then I would take the dead cat. But if not then leave it because it makes it a lot harder to like come back from a run because you're at one health for the rest of your lives even if you die you're gonna lose your health so you gotta be careful with that i'm gonna take another drink because my nose is making me thirsty i don't know why okay i'm playing this machine a little bit there we go pretty fly let's see if i can get another one exactly what I needed. That's another reason I took the pills. I was seeing if I could get a pretty fly, but I didn't, unfortunately. There's more keys, I'll take those. There's a super secret room. I think there'll be something good in there. Probably just gonna be health. Ooh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'm gonna leave it. I, I just wanna keep my, uh, my soul hearts right now. I like the next floor that I'm gonna get the Polaroid. I'll have permanent Polaroid invincibility every time I get hit. So, looking pretty good right now. Uh, we should be able to beat Isaac and hopefully the Blue Baby. With relative ease, especially if I get another like upgrade for my tiers, such as like the technology laser or something, that'll be perfect. But right now, it's pretty good. Oh yeah, I wanted to quickly mention my schedule for YouTube, it previously was like, in the past, like a long time ago, like maybe six months or something, it was like every single day I was uploading a video. That's probably not going to happen for a while, unless I uh, get a lot of free time eventually, but that probably won't happen. Ooh, sacrificial dagger, nah. Monster's too sucks, Ugh, get that out of here. But I'm going to probably be uploading at least twice a week, most likely three if I can because uh, I think that'd be good. I think that's a good schedule. Okay, the damage is just too strong. Oh my god. But three times a week, I think that should be manageable if I can record. I mean, my brother now has a computer down here in my basement, so he's down here like every day being annoying. So I'll, I'll try and get him kicked out of here every so often just so I can record a little bit for you guys to watch. Ooh, look at that chest. That was good. I'm going to do a full clear of this floor before I leave, just because there might be some more good stuff somewhere. That is some chestception going on, and then stupid, stupid. Nope, can't take that. Health upgrades are banned by me. I'm not taking them. Not worth it. Let's see what's in here. A whole bunch of globins. I'm really happy with the GTX 770. I mean, I do have a little bit of bottlenecking, but that's just because of my own stupidity. I didn't realize that my uh, my current 
like chips that my CPU was not really made to run with the graphics card of that power, so I have to go and buy a new one. So that's why I'm gonna be picking up the AMD FX 8350. It's like the top of the line AMD processor that I can buy. It costs about $200, which is not bad, especially when I'm gonna be selling some of my old stuff and getting the money right back. I mean, I'm selling my old graphics card for like $167. And then I'm going to be selling my old processor for like $100, so I'll basically be making money off of selling my old stuff and even buying new parts, which is nice. And then also I'm selling my old laptop that I never use ever, so that should be like another $200 in my pocket, so then I'll be able to buy games and stuff, and uh, do whatever. And I just wasted a reroll, I think, but I don't care what's in here. Poop. So much too bad. Too bad any bad items I can't take it. Oh, flip out. Oh, my nose. This is terrible. I think I'm getting sick. This is the worst. The worst phase of a cold. You just can't breathe and it feels like a desert and a jungle at the same time in each nostril. It's the worst. There we go. Ugh, hopefully you guys are enjoying so far. I mean, I haven't really done much that's very entertain like entertaining at all, at least to me. I've just played some Isaac a little bit, and uh, got a pretty good build going, <laughs> but aside from that, not much happened so far, I mean, we just got guppy, we have a pretty decent build going, and that's it, wrecking people, wrecking the monsters. I knew this run was going to be pretty good as soon as I got the x-ray vision as like my first item. Because X-ray vision really helps out when it comes to uh, finding your secret rooms, because it reveals them all. That's actually really not helpful for me at all. So none of those items are very good. I'm going to leave them all behind. They don't really help me much. And uh, yeah, it's time to leave the floor. Go and fight the boss and leave. She should die pretty fast, actually. Especially since I have all these upgrades. Yeah, she's dead. Okay, now I take this. Probably not even going to help much. The shops are not even available anymore. And then I take the Polaroid and go. Let's go. Peace out. And I think I might have got a Womb XL floor because it's taken a while to load. We'll see. I just yawned. I mean, it's not that late in the day. It's 1230. In the, uh, in the afternoon, I would say. It's not midnight. This is taking forever to load. Oh my god. I'm going to take this opportunity to drink some, uh, some more of my V Fusion. It's got a picture of a dinosaur in the box. It's pretty cool. Okay then, Isaac. Please recover. Okay, there we go. Do, do, do. Come on, Isaac. Aside from changing the channel name, I haven't really changed much at all. I mean, there's not much that to say about that at all. I don't even know why I brought that up, but I did. But I really haven't changed much in terms of my personality, so if you like the old Wild Leprechauns, you'll like the new Coded, so. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying this stuff that I'm putting up. I think I'm putting more effort in than ever. That's bad still. I don't want that junk. But I think I'm putting more effort in than ever. I'm making overlays for games and stuff. And I'm adding custom intros to each video, so... That should help. I might actually start streaming also, so I'm gonna probably make an overlay for that. Might start using Twitch. If I do, I'll definitely put videos up here to tell you guys when I'm streaming. And, uh, the easiest way to figure out when I'm streaming, when I do start streaming, is if you follow me on Twitter, so... I'll eventually put up some links for that too, but right now you don't have to subscribe or follow me or anything really. It's all up to you. If you like the content you're seeing, I would suggest following or subscribing or whatever. Definitely subscribe, because this is not Twitch. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> on Twitch they have a thing called following, and it's basically the same thing as YouTube subscribing. But it's a little bit different. But it's basically the same thing. So yeah, contradiction all over the place here. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> okay, um, I think we're just gonna go and fight the boss actually now, because there's pretty much nothing else to do on this floor. There's no library. 
There's uh there's the other secret. There's there's absolutely nothing to do in the utero floors. It's pretty much clear the floor and leave. And I have lots of money. That's good. Cause I mean at this point, what am I gonna do? Uh, there's nothing to do. I almost picked up that health. I don't want it. I don't want the health. I want that health. Not red health, though. Okay, I'm gonna kill him. In like, two seconds. Pick this up, and I'm gonna re-roll it. Let's see what I get. A spoon. What? Let's see what my speed is at. Eh. Oh, no. Don't. No. Yes. Back. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I almost exited out of this amazing run. Okay, there is a library. That might be worth checking out. Actually, it probably is definitely worth checking out. Just because of the fact that I'll probably have some nice books in there that I can re-roll into items if I have enough rooms in this floor. I want that, I want this. Give me the right my stuff. I'm just gonna leave. I don't really need any more health. I think I have enough soul hearts to like off the screen at this point. With the amount of damage I'm dealing, it's gonna be hard for things to kill me. The only thing I could really use at this point is uh, some more orbitals. Maybe extra damage or something, I don't know. I wanna get rid of my health upgrade that I currently have. So I wanna find a double deal, but it's not gonna be possible until um, I get to Isaac. And even then, it's not gonna be possible, really. Look at the box. Good. Oh no, I don't want the Curse Skull. Curse Skull is gonna be a pain if I freaking have that activate. I want my knock on hit when I'm not even paying attention. Oh, okay, there we go. I'm just gonna pick that up right now. What's this pill do again? Bad gas. Get owned, monstro. Poisoned him. Let's just wipe him out now. Get beat, bro. Let's go in the library. This book is bad. And this book is terrible. For the Bobby. For one room. Such a bad item. Let's see. Flies. Go to work. That was a freaking mistake. Oh! Why did I do that? Uh, oh, come on. Why do I keep strafing into the shots? Worst player of all time. Right here. Okay, I'm gonna get a free health out of this because it's gonna be Mom's heart fight. So there's no way that I will not get that fight. Even if I use that book. Because that book normally guarantees that you're gonna fight a horseman. But on a floor like this, or the depths slash necropolis two, I should say. Then uh, but the bosses are specific. You can't actually have that item take full effect. You'll still get the health upgrade, but you will not get the, uh, the full benefit of fighting a horseman for an orbital. Unfortunately for me, because I want an orbital actually. So fighting a horseman would not be a problem at this point. That dog food is getting left behind. I'm not taking that. Could roll it, might roll it, but right now the primary focus is the library because it's got two books instead of one. So if I re-roll through all the books, I should get into the item rule, the item room, item pool. I'll try saying that three times fast. That's like impossible to say. If you say it, give yourself a pat on the back. That's really hard to say. Item room, item pool. Yeah. Okay, I think I might need one more book to re-roll through this. One more re-roll to roll, th roll through. Bleh. Let me try that again. One more re-roll to roll through all the books in that room. Another tongue twister. I'm just coming up with tongue twisters left and right today. All over the place. Why are your words so hard? Since there's no shops, that card is pretty much useless to me. Because it normally warps you to where the, uh, the store is. But at this point, there's no more stores. So, yeah. 
doesn't even help me at all. Hey there, Keith, you're dead. If you're wondering why I'm getting so many chests popping up, that's because of Guppy's Tail. Guppy's Tail gives the benefit of getting a whole bunch of gold and brown chests popping up everywhere. So if you don't have enough keys, then I would definitely not recommend taking that item because it makes every other drop a lot more rare. But it's a very good item if you have a good amount of keys. I would say a good amount of keys being probably 15 and up. And let's just pick up this item and put it down. This is bad. This is garbage. Garbage items. Maybe if you're not playing as Isaac, it's good. But when you're Isaac and you have the D6, there's pretty much no item I would drop in order to pick up something else. I, I, I mean, the other way around. I wouldn't pick up any other item, really, and drop the D6. Unless it's something like the Blue Candle, maybe. And that's still a rare circumstance that I'd want to drop something as powerful as the D6 in favor of something else. D6 is probably, like, the greatest item in the game. Just because of its ability to give you any other item out of the item pool for that current room. Here we go, we're fighting Mom. If you blink, you'll probably miss it. Uh, she's gonna die really fast. I mean, she's dying fast, not as fast as I thought she was gonna die right there, but whatever. It'll be over in like a second. Then we'll be on to Isaac. So this run is strong enough that I'm confident that we're gonna make it through the cathedral and then probably also through the chest. So I'd rather do that than go down to Sheol and fight Satan. Because Satan. He's probably the harder of the three bosses, because the three bosses being Isaac, and then the Blue Baby, and then Satan, of course. So, this is probably one of the easier routes, but it's more lengthy. And that is a bad item, I don't want to pick that up. Tick. Screwed me over many times in the past when it comes to going to the chest, especially if you don't have the purse, it's terrible. It screws you up so much. What's good about having the uh, Scuppy's tail is that when I get into Sheol, and not Sheol, the chest, what am I saying? I guess the sickness has caught up to my brain, I have now have brain deformities sent out. But um, when I get into the chest, every chest that drops is a golden chest, so I should be getting a lot, and a lot, and I mean a lot, of items from chests. And every chest that drops is uh, an item chest, I should have said. I, I said golden chest, but they're really all item chests, so I'll be getting a lot of items here. Let's see if I can get something good out of these four. And yeah, Relic is good enough for me. The rest are going to reroll because they're not that great. And I'll just take this for the health. But the other two I'm gonna leave and re-roll. That's really stupid. Hey there, buddy. You're dead. Too strong. I just got a text message. Oh. Try to turn that off before I start recording, be more professional, but. Um, let, let's see. Oh, okay. My mom just texted me saying she got pissed me. I think I'm having sandwiches later. That is delicious. I like pastrami and ham and stuff. It's good meats. Good meats, good eats. Put on a good sandwich with some toasted bread. Nice bit of lettuce, tomato. Mm. Sounds good to me. Pretty sure the boss room is going to be this way. Probably down here, so I'm, I'm just going to go and fight him probably now. But I'm gonna check out the secret one first. Maybe I'll get something good in here. Nope, three cents. Definitely bad. Hey there, buddy. You're gonna die now. So. You're kinda done. Hey, work him here. I don't wanna deal with you. You're your stupid bomb shenanigans. Just, just, just drop dead. There you go. Good job. Hey, bloat. That was a cheap tactic. Tried to deploy right there. He tried to kill me instantly, but didn't work out too well. Because you're dead. And there's another famine. Not famine. What am I saying? It's pestilence. God diddly dang it. I'm making mistakes. He's dead in a second. He's dead. Mr. Death. 
How ironic, I killed Mr. Death. I want that part right there. There we go. Here we go, we're gonna fight a blow by man. I can actually get the health up now because it doesn't even matter. Just get in there close and end his life. I can't believe I actually killed him this quickly without having like a knife and brimstone. So it's definitely one of my best tier only builds. But with that guys, I'm gonna call it a episode or a trip. We're gonna take a break now. I'll probably record something else later on today if I feel like it, if my voice recovers. If not, then hopefully you enjoyed this trip and I'll see you in the next one.